Now at five, a growing political trend that could change the future of American elections. Georgia lawmakers passed a bill that limits absentee voting, and our state isn't alone in this one. As of last month, a report from the Brennan Center for Justice says lawmakers in over 40 states introduce bills that include voting restrictions. And Georgia is once again making national headlines. It certainly is. Everyone from political leaders to celebrities now speaking out about the voter access bills. CBS 46's Haley Mason is live under the Gold Dome for us tonight. Haley. Tracy, lawmakers worked late into the night and made some monumental changes in the way of voter reform bills. Take a look behind me. Staff members are refilling those binders of bills for tomorrow, but today, People are speaking out about the reforms that went through these chambers. Even former President Jimmy Carter saying he is disheartened, saddened and angry at the voter restrictions that have passed through the Georgia legislature. Georgia lawmakers are making election changes that are raising eyebrows across the country and voting rights groups are kicking into high gear to fight against the Republican majority that's pushing them forward. I've heard a constant refrain what problem are we trying to solve with each of these sections? Senator Mike Dugan's bill 241 would get rid of no excuse absentee voting by mail. It's one of six major election bills that passed out of the Senate on crossover day. Republicans say they'll help prevent voter fraud despite opposition from Democrats. Folks, we have some mending offenses to do. We can rewrite history for Georgia. Senate Bill 62 would require all election ballots to contain additional security features. Senate Bill 202 would prohibit anyone other than the Secretary of State or elections officials from sending absentee ballot applications to voters. You all are not the changes gaining national attention as more states push election reform. It's been very difficult. Over 40 states now participating in this sort of marathon of voter suppression legislation. The change is prompting President Biden to sign an executive order calling for federal agencies to expand voting access. What we've discovered um, this past over this weekend is that they're going to take some of the contents from Senate Bill 241 that makes voting more restrictive based because of what President Biden has done. Georgia Democrats say they'll hold up other bills as leverage. It's a race to the bottom and Georgia, as always, we are leading this race. We are ground zero for voter suppression in this country. And that thought is strictly divided among party lines. Republicans say they are protecting voting integrity in this state. Meanwhile, voting rights advocates say they're going to be engaging the business community and making an economic statement if these bills continue to pass. We'll talk about that next hour. For now, reporting live inside the state capitol, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. Haley, thank you.